Hey, Kazi. Jabu, why so down? It's hot. Matt was boring, and I forgot to eat breakfast. I know something that'll cheer you up. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please have a chocolate and a bag of chips? Um, Jabu, do you think you've made a good decision buying a chocolate and chips? I don't know. I'm just so hungry. <laughs> you look like a chocolate monster. <laughs> you know, Jabu, there are everyday foods and sometimes foods. Everyday foods are things that keep us healthy, like fruits and vegetables. Those we should eat every day. Sometimes foods are not healthy. but it's okay to eat them now and then like chocolate and chips hey why don't you swap the chips for an apple um okay good thing the chocolate's already in my tummy <laughs> <laughs> just remember to wash your hands and your apple before you start eating jabu why kazi i really want to eat this apple right now our hands and food carry germs that can make us sick I really don't want that to happen. Hi Tandy, your sandwich looks delicious. Let me guess, it's everyday food, right? That's right, Chabu. And I see you've enjoyed your sometimes food. It's all over your face. <laughs> Did you know that our everyday food should include the five food groups? What are those, Tandy? I hope they're not five vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chabu. The five food groups are five different groups of healthy food that help us grow and give us energy to work and play. They also help us concentrate in class. Actually, Tandy, your lunchbox has four of the five food groups. You're right, Kazi. The brown bread is an example of whole grains, which is the first food group. What about the tomato and the lettuce? That would be the second food group, vegetables. Your apple is a fruit, Jabu, which is the third food group. And the cheese in my sandwich is a dairy product, which is the fifth group. Now let's not forget about group number 4, protein. Jabu What do you think is an example of this? Your peanuts? Very good, Jabu. You are catching on fast. Tandy, doesn't chocolate count as a vegetable since it's made of cocoa beans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jabu. Chocolate is made of cocoa beans, yes, but it's mostly made of sugar, and too much sugar is not good for us. <sighs> I need to go. See you later. Hello children. Hi, Hi Tandy. Tandy. Tell me, have you all eaten healthy lunches so that you have plenty of energy for today's fitness and nutrition lesson? I know I have. Okay. Let's start by jumping up and down like a frog. You can croak like a frog too. <laughs> 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 Jumping around takes a lot of energy and we get energy from carbohydrates like bread, cereals, rice and potatoes. Now imagine you're as strong as a gorilla and show me your big gorilla muscles. Yes. Yes. Proteins from foods like beans, nuts, meat and eggs help us to grow and develop strong muscles just like a gorilla. That's awesome, Tandy. Our chicken lays eggs. I'm going to be sure to eat some eggs before school tomorrow. Good one, Chabu. You're starting to think about good choices that will give you energy for school. Now imagine you are quick and fast like a springbok. Vitamins and minerals from fruit and vegetables keeps us healthy and make our bones strong. Being healthy is so much fun, Tandy. It's good for us too. Now, 
What do you think happens if you only drink physical drinks and eat junk food like chips? Ooh, you'll be slow and lazy like a snail. Oh no, I don't want to be a snail. <laughs> Thanks for a great time, kids. Now remember to eat healthy foods every day and tell your friends and families about them too. 